One of the hardest questions to answer, I think, for teachers is uh, why should I um, learn history? This is from a student in the classroom, and it's also a question asked by parents and by other colleagues as it happens. And I think probably the single clearest answer to that is what I call the social amnesia argument, which is unless I know where I've been, where my family's been, my parents, my guardian uh, have been, um, unless I know where my community came from, the world outside has um, become the way it has, then I have no clear idea, no clear idea of how I can play a role in this world that I inhabit. There are other more complex arguments about why history is important. It develops all kinds of skills, for example, investigative skills. The word history comes from the Greek for investigation. Now, as far as the way the curriculum is designed, I think it's really important to point out that um, teachers need to get uh, a very fine, a very uh, fine and a very um, detailed grounding in the seven historical understandings, the, the major concepts, use of evidence, continuity and change, causality, perspective, empathy, significance and contestability. Of those, we know that students in Upper primary can deal with contestability, can deal with different points of view about topics. We know that empathy is a very difficult concept to grasp, it's not sympathy. Um, and we know that students often have difficulty with perspectives. Um, so I, the key message, I guess, is history is complex, it's manageable and it's valuable.